Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I turned an old desk into a coffee and beverage bar, and you can too. I'm gonna leave a full list of all the supplies you need down below in the description, but the general gist of it is that you need paint, um, indoor paint is fine, any brand, any color. You need a seal, polyacrylic is what I use. Um, you need some brushes, a drop cloth, and something to sand with. So if you have an electric sander, that's great, but if not, you could totally do this with uh, a sanding block or sandpaper. You'll also need a screwdriver, and if you're changing the hardware, you need the new hardware. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is lay everything out on the drop cloth and go ahead and start cleaning your furniture piece. I had already cleaned this with cleaning fluid, so I'm just taking a dry cloth and giving it another dusting for any pollen that landed on it. Then you're gonna start removing the extra hardware. Here I have this cabinet thing that comes down from the top and that was kinda tricky to remove because it had a lot of different hardware pieces. But once that came out, I also had two drawers and a cabinet door in the other piece to remove as well. The next step is to sand everything down. Make sure you're getting off that finish that's already on there. As you can see here, I'm starting off with my circular sander. Um, this is to really speed up the process. I'm doing the tops and the sides. Anything I can reach with the electric sander, I will do. And then I'll come in with the sanding block afterwards to get the corners and hard to reach areas. While I've got your attention, I should mention that you should go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. This lets me know that you're enjoying um, the DIY videos and that way I can make more of them for you. The next thing I'm doing is just taping off the little windows in my cabinet doors. Um, if you want to save yourself some time and you have some plastic or glass that you need to cover up, I would recommend buying a uh, mask and peel and it's really easy from what I see from others. You can just paint it on and then when you're finished, um, peel it off and it'll protect those surfaces. And here I am going in with the sanding block like I was mentioning earlier. Um, I'm just trying to get those edges and the corners on the inside of the pieces. And I was finding it a little bit difficult to reach all the way back in, so I decided to flip everything on its back and go ahead and reach in from the top, and that was a little bit easier. Then I'm just wiping off all the sanding dust that um, collected on the surfaces from obviously sanding the pieces. And here you can see I'm pulling out a shelf to reach that I totally forgot to take out, but don't worry, I did end up taking it out before painting. Speaking of painting, this is the next step. So I started off by painting all the little trim on the insides and the corners because I am planning on using a roller brush to uh, kind of get the surfaces faster and here is what it looks like after I did that first layer just by hand with the paintbrush. I also decided to do the insides of the drawers and some of the edges or bottoms that I wouldn't be able to reach otherwise. Then I'm coming in with the small roller brush. I believe this was a six inch one and guys this is really crucial. It saved me so much time. So the process is the same for this step um, until it's completely finished. You're going to want to make sure everything is covered and do all of your extra pieces as well and let it dry. I ended up having to do three coats on each part of this um, to make sure it was nice and you couldn't see any grin through. The final step is to add the finish. Like I said before, I'm using polyacrylic. Um, it is recommended that you hand brush this on even though it's kind of a pain but it helps 
keep any air bubbles out of the finish. Um, I did two to three coats on each surface that things would be sitting on and just one on the sides. And finally, you're just going to add your hardware back in and put all your finishing touches in like I have here. So here is the before and after transformation. You can see it was really elevated with new hardware and fresh paint. I wallpapered the insides and I think overall it looks really great in the space. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this helped inspire you to turn that piece of furniture that you're looking at into the perfect coffee and beverage bar for your space. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And if you didn't earlier in the video, go ahead and like this video and subscribe so I can keep putting out more content for you. Thanks and I'll see you next time.